Hey guys, welcome to what I think might be the first actual proper swooping shot of a workshop ever. There we go, this is the clutter and it's absolutely embarrassing. And what's even more embarrassing is my production schedule, as it's been for pretty much the entire summer and I want to apologise for that and I figured I'd just throw an update at you as something to remedy that. I just haven't had the time I thought at all to produce stuff for you guys uh, pretty much whole summer. So the last uh, uh, thing to put for a wrench into the machinery has been this room which uh, I think I might have shown to you guys at some stage. Uh, this has basically just been a trash room uh, for the longest time uh, but a few weeks ago I got a chance to pick up uh, a whole bunch of of old office furniture for free so I had to jump on it and I just had to throw myself at making a new workshop for that and as you can see that has taken shape so I haven't had time to uh, capture in real video of it uh, I have like bits and pieces I have to figure out how to assemble into something at some stage uh, but once I got all this stuff assembled I got another call saying hey do you want the rest of the stuff so now I've got like a shit ton more uh, old tables and drawers and stuff, really nice quality stuff that I just need to turn into something. I'm probably going to try and refurbish my usual workbench here, which is going to take up even more time, which I really want, have wanted to put into more proper electronics project. I've got so much stuff just waiting. But it's uh, it, it it's horrible. I feel, I feel awful for it. But uh, on the good news, I'm going to be finally done with working full time uh, at the end of this month. Then I've just got to pay this to my parents uh, for a week or so, and then finally, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to return to my normal life where I've actually got some spare time to put I'm producing stuff, Jesus it's horrid uh, so yeah gotta fix this thing still uh, I don't even have a power supply what a sore excuse of a nerd I am uh, so yeah, that's what's going on I'm making furniture I've got to refurbish this thing which I finally pulled out, old drill press inherited from my dad and this is the uh, state of the battery grip which I did I make a video? I think I made a video of that so I've actually got this uh, modified to actually fit the new camera which we are not shooting anything on yet due to the fact that I need this battery grip uh, something uh, I quickly realised with using a DSLR you need a bigger battery I, if I shoot on it I just swap batteries constantly uh, since, since you can't charge it from the by just plugging it in you have to actually swap the battery so it's it's ridiculous to use weight a battery grip so that's coming along in the meantime we're using the good old Panasonic well old it isn't even a year old yeah this, this bench has turned out pretty nice that area is not working properly but it's looking good so we can deal with it there's so much it's like just it's absolutely chock full of old office furniture this place but it's gonna it's gonna turn out pretty nice in the end I think these are some properly awesome uh, tabletops they're about 30 millimeters and a giant they're about 185 by 85 I've got two of those, this one's slightly smaller and then I've got another slightly smaller one there so that's going to be such a nice upgrade for uh, the uh, electronics bench when I can dig out the time to actually do it also do like these, as you can see I've taken another couple of these and turned them into a tool drawer on wheels uh, but that takes time and effort to make but we are going to have a lot of fun in this place definitely 
I need to get some better lighting. This is just all temporary. I'll leave the lights hung up there. I need to get some better part drawers and whatever have you. But this is this workshop is gonna open up for so many uh, more hardcore metalworking projects and so forth. I'm gonna, actually gonna. I need to refurbish all these tools. I have a shit ton of these old tools. Most important, this drill press, which I'm hoping to be able to uh, save, but as you can see, it's in really rough shape. Everything's just falling apart. It's worn and tattered. And the chucks in pieces. I hope we can save this. Most of the mechanics seem to be in decent shape. <sighs> so, yeah, what else is coming up? I have got an amplifier module which someone once sent me, which I am going to check out. You who sent it, sent it or rather paid half of it, do not fear, I am going to get it as soon as I have a lot of time. And I am working on a comparative uh, test of a bunch of these DSLR batteries. I've gathered some data. The more expensive ones, spoiler alert, actually seem to be slightly better. The really horribly cheap uh, China ones. Where do we have one? That's an expensive one. Here we go. One of these, uh, these two horrible China ones are absolutely awful compared to the... Uh, what's this one? I think this is a... Mitsuru brand and uh, this is a Blue Max. So I was actually surprised to see that uh, it's actually worthwhile buying the more expensive ones. Uh, I also got <laughs> one of the most ridiculous things I've ever owned. This giant like uh, studio lighting tripod. This this is a solid iron thing. It weighs a bit. 40 kilos uh, and I've managed to <laughs> mount my uh, old broken tripod <laughs> head on top of that so I can like put a camera on top of that it's all wonky and not straight by any means but it uh, I, I love it just for the fact that it's so ridiculous it's an old Finnish thing I believe it's made in Finland ridiculously heavy stock these are solid metal that's solid metal, the big chunk there. <sighs> and of course, over here we've got the big room. All this shit needs to be gone through. So that's a vacuum cleaner. I've got a new, brand new motor for this which I need to put in. That's a fresh water pump, that's a stick welder, I think that works. That's a wire feed welder, I think might work. And it needs some attention. And a giant 48 volt uh, backup system. And oh god, we've got moisture in here. Good thing I put that cardboard box on some wood. <sighs> and of course, fire extinguisher sitting in the back room. Just where it needs to be. So, yeah, there you go. And of course I need to clean this up. Those batteries have been sitting there for bloody well ever. This CRT monitor's just got frozen in time. When I got the job and I haven't had time to touch them, I've frankly lost interest since sadly these trinitrons seem to be pretty poor. They can't measure up to my proper CRT. And here's a some stuff for service, old power supply. I actually need this like 16 port switch pretty soon. So I need to fix that. I'll make a video about that. I don't need to. Oh god. Yeah, this is a clutter I would live in. Don't become like me. This is not good. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get back to a proper production schedule within like a month. And I'm going to upload this unedited. Cheerio! Hope to see you more frequently than uh, I have like forever. Cheers.